Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 1108 in Honolulu, 408 in New York on Tuesday, 29th day of November 2022. And this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. Gold has definitely regained some upside traction with moderate gains today. Currently, we have the December contract of gold futures up $7.20 or four tenths of a percent and fixed at $1,747.40. That despite fractional gains in the dollar. The dollar came well off of the lows today. You can see them here coming in at 105.995 currently. The dollar is trading up 0.15% at 106.79. Lastly, silver has regained about half of the 2.5% drop it experienced yesterday. Currently, we have December silver futures at $21.16.5 after factoring in a net gain of $0.25. Cents. This first chart is a daily chart. It's a long-term study of gold futures. It clearly shows the dynamic rally we had at the beginning of the year, moving gold up substantially, I believe about $300 to its apex or the high this year, $10 shy of the all-time high, coming in at $2,077. Then we had a long and protracted multi-month correction that can be best characterized as we've spoken about before, with a series of lower highs as well as lower lows. That occurred up until this last low, and the last low that came in came in at approximately $1,621 that unfolded as a triple bottom at those lows. What is interesting is that I believe that this is the moment or the turning point in which market sentiment dramatically shifted from extremely bearish as defined by this exaggerated and long multi-month correction as the Federal Reserve raised interest rates on five occasions from March up until November of this year. Because what we saw is not only a dynamic rally, but for the first occasion since we've seen these series of lower highs come in is we actually had the first higher high. The simple moving averages also lend credence to the assumption that market sentiment has shifted from bearish to bullish. And we can see that as how quickly as this market gains steam and move off of these lows, we broke over the 50 day then the 100 day and we are very close in terms of the most recent top to actually challenging the long-term 200 day moving average. What has been driving this most recent rally and change in market sentiment is the belief that the Federal Reserve will slow its pace in terms of the amount of rate hikes that it implements. It is now widely anticipated that they will raise rates by 50 basis points rather than 75 basis points at the December FOMC meeting. The question that is most important now is whether or not this most recent low that occurred last week when gold went to $1,719 on an intraday basis fulfills the requirement of a defined correction. We're using a basic Fibonacci retracement from the last leg of this rally beginning on the 3rd of November when gold hit the last of this triple bottom at 1621 up to the highs of 1791. We can see that the recent low that came in last week came in at the 42 percent retracement level. The fact that the low that occurred last week at $1,719 corresponds to the 100-day moving average tells me that that is a distinct possibility. However, if we do see gold move lower, where could we expect to find a bottom? I would look at 1700 to 1705. That corresponds to a 50% retracement. Nonetheless, I believe that we are fully immersed in a bullish market. Market sentiment has definitely changed from bearish to bullish. 
The question is, in positioning ourselves for a trade on the long side, where is the best price to look to get in? And that is precisely the question that we will explore throughout the remainder of this week. I've converted our daily candlestick chart to a Henkin Ashi chart, which is a Japanese average chart. It fixes the opening price from the midpoint of the prior candle on a daily chart the prior day. The rally that just occurred was very strong in terms of the trend itself, because what we look for is rather large body size and we qualify there and the absence of these lower wicks. The reason the absence of lower wicks is important is that at no point during the trading session did prices go to or below the midpoint of the prior candle? And that's why you have this flat bottom here. You can also see a pretty nice pivot to the correction in which body size began to diminish or shorten. And then we had the color switch from green to red. Now we've got alternating candle color, which means we could be entering a period of price consolidation in which gold forms a base at this new price level, right around $1,740. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.